everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're doing my daily skincare routine this is really cool because I'm gonna show you everything that I do before I apply on makeup so I do primer as well and I'm just excited to show you a different part of me I don't have any makeup on and I'm a little bit shy about my voice and this new video is gonna be kind of a voiceover so bear with me I'm just beginning again but I really hope you enjoy like comment and subscribe if you can and I hope to see you back here soon let's get on with it and I hope you enjoy bye Hi guys, okay so we're starting off with a foam cleanser. A foam cleanser is super good to use right before you go to bed to remove all your makeup or in the morning right when you wake up. I like to use it twice a day. I like a clean surface before I apply on any makeup. What I'm going to do is foam up the foam cleanser and then apply it to my face to avoid any strips of detergents being removed. There are detergents in some facial cleansers that will dry out your skin so make sure you foam it up first. Next, the step is optional, but it's the exfoliation process. It's really awesome at removing dead skin cells. It helps with evening out your skin tone. And I really love the fact that this gel one is so gentle. It's a papaya peeling and it's awesome. As you can see here, I'm just going to apply two pumps and this will be perfect for my entire face. I just dab it onto my skin like so and then I start moving both my hands in circular motions so that I can get that really really good exfoliation going on. Here's a close-up of how my skin looks. Um, it's actually a lot better than how it's ever been so I'm really proud of my skin and there you go you can see how I'm exfoliating just some excess there's a lot of pores around that area so I like to just get in a good clean next step is to use a toner a toner is super good to use because it rebalances the pH level that you just stripped your skin of the acidity level in your skin might actually cause you to become dry so what a toner does is it kind of neutralizes the pH level so that you have um, a good surface to work with and the product that you used previously, such as a facial cleanser, doesn't dry out your skin. I'm going to keep drying the toner. You can either wipe off with a cotton pad or you can just let it air dry if you have a mist one like I do. So the next step is we're going to use an essence, also known as a serum. It's awesome for repairing your skin. This one specifically is an oil control one, so it helps with reducing the oils that I produce throughout the day. It's super awesome, one of my favorite products from the face shop. I just like to pat things into my face. I'm always hitting it, I don't know why. Gonna keep spreading, keep spreading. And almost done. The next step is moisturizing. I'm using here an emotion, which is also very similar to any moisturizer that you would use. I recommend like a good lotion or um, just like a lightweight moisturizer that you can wear under your makeup. Um, you don't have to use a cream. A cream is a bit heavy, so you would use a cream um, if this is a nighttime routine. I can show you guys that later. But I'm just going to be patting in this moisturizer just so that it protects my skin from any makeup that I have later on to put on. Again, with the patting and the stroking motions, it really helps with evening out the product. The last step to my skincare is to prime. What I like using lately is this post shave balm. <laughs> it's great for um, oily skin types and I have normal to excessive oily skin. So I'm just going to pat this in, give it an even spread, and that's pretty much the end of my daily skincare routine. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and check back for more. My next video is going to be a makeup tutorial, so keep up for that. 